long time no see, right? <laughs> Before I start. Yes, I am sick. I, <clears throat> I don't know if you can tell, but... But anyway, where have I been? So basically, I've been on a 10-day cruise. Um, I was supposed to have some content going up both on my blog and my YouTube whilst I was away, but I just didn't get the time to do it. That's where I've been. I went on a 10 day cruise to Vanuatu and New Caledonia and some of the Pacific Islands and it was lovely. Um, no, I didn't vlog anything because I kind of just wanted to be kind of in the moment and not have to worry about filming or just stressing about filming or anything like that. I just wanted to basically just wanted to relax. I do have footage of the Blue Lagoon that we went to in Santo, which was the last island that we visited. Um, so I'll insert that here because it's pretty and I like it. But yeah, now I'm home. I got home on Friday and got sick on Saturday. And now it is Monday, so obviously while I was away, um, I got a little bit of mail because I'm a book vlogger, so that kind of just happens. Like, I was expecting maybe one parcel, maybe two, because I swear to God, I will be home for 10 days and not get like a single package or I will just get one. But apparently I got four. Let's do a bit of an unboxing to start off this vlog, shall we? So I got four packages. They're all from publishers. Um, three of them are from Hachette and the top one is from Bloomsbury. So thank you Hachette and Bloomsbury. So this one's from Bloomsbury. I believe there's two books in here because it feels quite thick. I know what the bottom two were from Hachette um, purely because they were a bit water damaged. The packages themselves were water damaged when I grabbed them. So I was scared that the book inside the package would be water damaged as well, so I wanted to check. I also just wanted to check what the book was. But anyway, number one. I was so satisfied. Ooh, hello. Two books. I thought so. Ooh, they're both art, I think. They are. So we got two books from Bloomsbury. The first one is Watch Us Rise by Renee Watson and Alan Hagen. I don't know what this is about. It's about two best friends who are basically just sick of how women and girls are treated and they start like a, a feminist club basically. And this one will be released in on February 12th of next year. So thanks for that one Bloomsbury. I'm very keen to read this one. I love a good feminist YA story so that's cool. And the second one is in Prison the Sky by A.C. Gowan. Gowan? I don't know. This is the sequel to Rain the Earth. This one is set to be released on January 22nd next year. Cool. Thanks, Blooms. And so the next three are from Hachette. I will start with this one, which, as you can see, I have opened. This one was the water damaged one. And it is. Do, 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 do. Izzy and Tristan by Shannon Dun Dunlap. This one is again another arc and this one will be released in March 2019. This is a gripping tale of first love for anyone who loved all the bright places and the hate you give. The hate you give I wouldn't say is really a love story but interesting. The next one from Hachette is... Louis and Louise by Julie Cohen, which is to be released in January. This is again an arc. This sounds like a, quite an interesting story. I'll read the blurb to you because it's not very long. Louis David Alder was born on the 8th of September 1978 to Peggy and Irvin Calder of Casablanca, Maine. Louise Dawn Alder was born on the 8th of September 1978 to Peggy and Irving Alder of Casablanca, Maine. In their moment of birth, Louis and Louise are the same person in two different lives. They are separated only by the gender announced by the doctor and a final E. If you could look at one life in two different ways, what would you see? I'm very confused about the blurb. I don't know if they're like twins or if it's about one person's story about trying to find themselves 
if you know what I mean. I'm looking forward to trying this one out. Another one from Hachette. And I have no idea what's in this one, so... Ooh! <gasps> this is exciting. I've heard really good things about this book. Hello! I got an arc of The Girl King by Mimi Yu. And it is so pretty. Look at that. The most exciting YA debut of 2019 has arrived. Ooh. Two sisters, one crown, a war that could tear the world apart. I am very intrigued by this one. This one will be released on the 10th of January next year. The fact that all of these books um, are to be released next year freaks me out. Like, what the fuck? It's crazy. So there are all the books that I received while I was away. I was not expecting any of these at all. Like, literally I was not expecting any book mail. And they're all ARCs, which is really cool. I haven't received a bunch of unsolicited ARCs in a very long time. But yeah, thank you Hachette and Bloomsbury for sending these my way. I'm very excited to pick some of these up. So now let's get some stuff done for today, shall we? <laughs> it is Tuesday and I didn't continue to film anything yesterday. I did get some stuff done that I want to get done, so at least there's that. But I have actually just set up a white blanket to take some Instagram photos on, which... I'm just as shocked as you are. <laughs> if you don't know, I am on Instagram. Um, I have been on Bookstagram for about four years. It would have been four years in October. This year, I think especially with the algorithm and just everything, I was trying to change up my theme and my Instagram and just kind of what I did on Instagram a little bit more um, and I found it really difficult and I just kind of lost all motivation for Instagram and I could not be bothered putting so much effort into all these photos and stuff when I a wasn't enjoying it at the time and b just wasn't getting the engagement that I used to like the last year and the year before it really kind of sucked I felt like Instagram was just kind of becoming a chore for me as well like I'd have days off from work and I would just be like oh shit I've got to take Instagram photos today because I don't have any new ones that I and like I need to post because I was trying to post every single day and I think I just kind of burnt out my creativity and my motivation for Instagram I just it got too much and I got to the point where I was like I just I need a break from this I have I was getting to a point where I was just posting purely to post so yeah I wasn't really happy with the photos that I was taking and posting I was basically just trying to get content out there so that basically just so that my Instagram was still active and I wasn't like letting anyone down I think that's probably one of the main reasons why it burnt me out so much and why I just needed to have a break from it. I just got to the point where I was just like, I just, I can't do this anymore. I'm putting in so much effort, like I don't feel like I'm gaining anything from it anymore. In saying that, I know it's not all about followers or likes or anything like that, but this year it just, I really struggled with getting likes and struggled to gain followers. I know people say like don't stress about followers and that kind of stuff but you know when you're just constantly seeing your follow account just go down instead of going up the photos you take especially ones that you're quite proud of when, when you start to see them kind of get less likes and when Instagram tells you about 5% of your followers are actually seeing the photos that you post it kind of gets to you a little bit so I took I took a break and then I kind of tried to keep posting every once in a while but then again I just had no motivation to take photos and even when I did have motivation to post photos I just didn't have any inspiration so it's been a while since I posted on Instagram and I just miss interacting on Instagram with people and taking photos and being creative with my photos because I feel like this year I lost a lot of my creativity. I really missed just taking photos and being really proud of them and really happy with how they turned out. So yeah, so 
Um, yeah, that turned into a huge ass rant. I just, um, I think what I was trying to get to by the end of that is that I'm back. I think, maybe, we'll see. I'm gonna try and take some photos now, which is why I'm sitting on a Duna cover. But now that that's all kind of out of the way, I thought it would be fun to kind of do a behind the scenes thing. And hopefully that's somewhat enjoyable. But yeah, let's do it. First thing that I need to do, I need to get a photo of Wondersmith. So yeah, I'm gonna be hosting a review on my blog. I'm gonna figure out how to, how I wanna kind of po put this. I think with the W, that and then that page maybe, I think that would look cool. So we're gonna try that. I'm thinking something along the lines of this. Very basic, but like, once it's edited and stuff, I think it'll look kind of nice. Oh, hey. <laughs> Sorry about the weird angle. Um, so I've just taken my Wondersmith photo. I think it turned out pretty good. This angle is super, super weird and I apologize, but I kind of wanted to get a bird's eye-ish um, photo next. I don't know if you can read it because they're upside down, but it says, fuck off, I'm reading. And so I just really, I really like these socks and I wanted to take a photo with them on so that's what we're gonna try and do I think I'm just gonna do a typical sock leg open book white bed sheets um, photo for this one so let's see how we go with that so bird's eye view <laughs> did not work um, I just could not get the right angle and I, if I got a good photo, I just could not get the writing on the socks in it. So it was kind of pointless. So we're going to try something else. So I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> I don't want my bookshelves in the background. So I still want it to be something like, I don't I forgot how hard it was to take bookstagram photos sometimes. Uh, so I think if I do it like this, somehow, I think it'll work. That way it's like up close, kind of close to the foot. So maybe we'll try something like this. So I got there in the end. I literally have taken two photos and I am over it already <laughs> they turned out quite well like I'm pretty happy with both of them so at least there's that but yeah I'm literally like I cannot be bothered to take any more photos right now so that's where I'm at currently so I'm just finished taking another photo and now I am so ready for a nap to be honest, I'm gonna pack up my mess because I've got books everywhere at the moment. And then I'm gonna go and chill on the couch and do some reading. It is Thursday. I am struggling to breathe. I'm still a little bit sick. I don't know, I've just got like a stuffy nose and it's really frustrating. But anyway, I'm going to pick up a parcel. So basically a parcel was supposed to be delivered when I was away on my cruise and so they left like a collection slip. Um, so I rang them on Monday and they were like, oh yeah, cool, we'll but you can either come and collect it or we'll just re like re-deliver it for you. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Just re-deliver it for me. And they're like, oh, cool. It'll be like, um, it should be delivered tomorrow. Are you home? I was like, yeah, I'll be home tomorrow on Tuesday because I had the day off on Tuesday. They're like, okay, cool. Sweet. We'll put it out for delivery. You'll get it tomorrow. I guess it's like four o'clock on Tuesday and I'm like, okay, it's not coming today. I... <laughs> what the fuck? I've been home literally all day. Like I literally hadn't left the house. Um, I was busy doing other stuff, but I also didn't really want to leave the house because I didn't want to risk missing the delivery. And then yesterday, being Wednesday, I had work all day. I didn't get home until 5.30. And, of course, they give me another 
fucking slip. So they tried to deliver it yesterday when I wasn't home and no one was home. So now I'm just gonna go and pick it up because I can't be fucked <laughs> trying to re-deliver it again. So I feel like it's just gonna be easier if I just go pick it up. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I also noticed when I was coming to the car that I had a package in the mail. So I'm gonna try and somehow unbox this for you because I have no idea what's in it. I just don't know where to sit my phone to do this. That works. Anyway, I'm going to unbox this. Excuse my um, dream catcher there, but anyway. Fuck, I hate when that happens. It's also really warm in my car at the moment, so... Ooh! Oh, it's so cute! I don't even know what that is. There's like little things all over it, and it's got it's like wrapped, and then on the back of this little thing it says, to Danielle from Santa. I don't even want to unwrap it now. It's a hard cover. Aww. Uh, that's so cute. I don't want to... I want to take a photo of it. That's so sweet. Okay, I might... Okay. I'm going to take some photos, and then I'll like unwrap it properly when I get... Unbox it properly when I get home. Because I don't want to ruin this just yet because it's really cute. Anyway, I'm going to go and pick up this parcel now. I can't vlog and drive because I've got nowhere to, for my phone to see it. It'll end up falling over. And I have mixed feelings about people that drive. I just, I can't, I don't know. It's just, I feel like it's kind of unsafe. And if I try and vlog and drive, this is what will happen. See? <laughs> I told y'all. Got the parcel and it's from Harper. And I had no idea what it was. Was not sure. And then I just checked. It literally says it on the side what's in it. And I am extremely excited because it's Ladies Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee. And it's a damn hardcover. I was hoping I would get this. Um and I did request it ages ago and completely forgot about it and just assumed that I wasn't getting it because this book has been released for quite a while now. But yeah, um, thank you Harper. This is awesome. This vlog has pretty much just been unboxings and I apologize, but um, whatever. Anyway, cool. Let's go. I'm currently in my parents' house and Love me. Time to unbox. It is a book called Dear Santa, and it says. A surprising and often hilarious collection of letters to Santa from some of Australia's most notorious and best loved grown-ups. That's really cute. Thank you, Hachette. Come love me. Bella. Come here. Bella. 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 Why are you like this? It is Friday and I've just finished filming a video. <coughs> Still sick. Awesome. So now my plan is to do some editing. I need to edit this vlog or at least start editing this vlog because it's already like an hour of raw footage and that's a fucking lot. Um, so I need to do some editing and hopefully I can cut it down and then I think I'm going to try and do some painting in the spare room which I feel like I should have started the painting this morning instead of starting it at like the hottest part of the day. But anyway, I don't know if I've mentioned it but we're currently like renovating the house. We're currently painting the spare bedroom. Um, we painted the hallway and it looks really nice so we're up to the spare bedroom and you would think that painting would be really really easy. It's not. We had to patch up a bunch of holes and stuff in the wall first. And then you've got to do undercoat and we've done like a few layers of undercoat because 
I don't know what the lady that was living here was thinking, but the room that we're currently doing used to be like this disgusting shades of purple. She had lilac on all of the walls except for one, which lilac's not a like horrible color. Like my old childhood bedroom used to be like a lilac color. It's fine, not horrible. But then one of the walls, she's like done a feature wall and she's done it like eggplant purple. So this really dark, dark purple. And then if that's not bad enough, she's done like the skirting and like the trim, like that part. Yeah, she's done that like I like, I'm gonna try and find the green. Like it's like, that color, that, that green. That's the green that she decided was a great idea to put with fucking purples. We've had to do quite a lot of coats of undercoat to cover up this disgusting colors um, so that we can put nicer colors on top. Once we finish painting, we'll put in some carpet and then we're also gonna be putting in some like curtains to make the room a bit nicer and then it'll be pretty. And lovely and then we'll move on to the main bedroom which I'll show you what it looks like blue <laughs> you know how excited I am to paint this so excited. this is a very old house and there's a lot that needs to be done um, but we're getting there we're getting there very slowly but we are you know how happy I'll be when that room's done that room's done and this which is the bathroom, when the bathroom's also done, because currently the bathroom has nothing in it. We'll get there, we'll get there. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and do some editing and then we're gonna do some painting, hopefully. So I didn't film an outro, so I'm currently editing it and now I'm gonna film an outro. But I thought I'd also quickly give you a little update on the painting. Um, I didn't really show you what the room looked like beforehand but it was completely white um, like everything was white because that's the color of an undercoat but now we've just put um, some top coat on just one coat so far we've got to do another one but this is what it looks like now it looks like a normal bedroom it's so much nicer the, the last part of painting that we're gonna have to do for this room once we put it on top coat is just we have to do like the frames and the skirting. So that's the update on the bedroom. Once this is done and has carpet in it and has curtains, we're going to move our bed into this bedroom and then work on the main bedroom. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know I didn't really talk about any reading or do any reading, so it's not really a reading vlog. I did finish like two books, I think. Whilst I was vlogging, I just didn't vlog about them. I will have my spring reading wrap up coming soon, so stay tuned for that. That should be going up the week after this comes up. If all goes to plan. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog slash basically just a huge unboxing video. <laughs> Sorry. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.